in this problem we're given some information and we want to use that information to find the number of elements in each of these labeled regions labeled Roman numerals 1 through 4. As usual if possible we want to start in the innermost region if we can and that would be region 2 which is the overlap between A and B and that would be the intersection of A and B. So we immediately know that region 2 has two elements in it. As we move our way out we might want to look at the entire circle A because we know that there are four elements within the entire circle A. If two of them are already accounted for that means there must be two more in order to make the four elements inside the circle A. So region 1 must also have two elements in it. Now they don't tell us how many are in circle B so we can't play that same game with region 3 but they do tell us that the number of elements in A union B is 32. Now remember it's not intersection this is union. Intersection I mean the uh, number of elements in A union B that means if you look at the two circles together union means either so if you shade A shade B anything gets shaded is in the union so we're actually looking at 1, 2, and 3 added together. So A union B is 32 tells us that those three numbers have to add up to 32. Well 2 plus 2 is 4 so you've got to figure out 4 plus what equals 32 and with a little tiny bit of arithmetic you can figure out that must be 28. Now 28 plus 2 plus 2 is 32 and that agrees with this statement. Now the only piece of information we have not used, and before I continue I'm going to go ahead and put down the answers we have. The number of elements in region 1 is 2 from here. The number of elements in region 2 is 2 from there. The number of elements in region 3 is 28. And we're now looking for the number of elements in region 4. And the only piece of information, like I said, we haven't used is this. It says the union, not the intersection, but the union of A prime and B prime, or A complement and B complement. And remember, when we're doing union, anything gets shaded is in the union. So at this point, I might just actually do the shading so I can uh, be sure I'm right. A complement is everything outside of A. So if I just use a little bit of cross hatching. can sketch in A complement. Then I want to do the same thing with B complement. That's everything outside of B. Well that's already shaded, that's already shaded. But this area right here is outside of B and it didn't get shaded before so I want to include that in there. And so that shaded region, everything that I've cross hatched, is uh, the union of A complement B complement. And those shaded numbers have to add up to 35. Well, that's one of the shaded numbers. That's one of the shaded numbers. And whatever's out here is the other shaded number. This 2 in the center is not shaded, so it doesn't count. So this number plus this number plus whatever goes out here has to add up to 35. Well, 2 plus 28 is 30. That means the region out here must have five elements. So those three circled elements are in the union of A complement and B complement. So the number elements in region 4 is 5. And we've answered that question.